welcome to Elle's Nails, where it doesn't take a million bucks for your nails to look like a million bucks. This week's theme is snowflakes. So we're going to do some snowflake stamping with this lovely bundle monster, aka Maniology template that has one, two, three, four, five, six different snowflakes on it. So let's set that up. And then along with that, we have our bundle monster, aka Maniology white that we're using, Kings Island Gold Pass scraper, and of course, our clear jelly stamper. And then I also need to clean this lint roller off. I need a new sheet. Have a lint roller ready to go. Um, for my base color today, I'm actually using a gel polish, which I applied really badly. <laughs> but um, it's just stained around my nails, so hopefully that comes off. Um, so that I picked up on Wish. Um, this is the brand and it comes with, um, that is the lovely blue. And then I have a base and top coat that goes with it. All the same brand. Color gel. And um, I honestly do not particularly care for gel polish. Um, it takes just as long uh, to apply and have it dry on the lamp for gel polish as it does for me to do my nails normally and I just think it's a waste of time and um, the gel is a lot harder uh, to get off your nails so I mean that might be a perk but um, for me when I do my nails it'll peel off in one big flake instead of chipping so I guess maybe that's a perk, maybe it's a downside. Also, it doesn't completely dry all the way, so I have these little fluff marks um, from my uh, cotton balls. And um, only reason why I'm using it is because I wanted this specific color for my nails. Um, I only have a few hollow um, polishes, and this is one gorgeous one that I have. So I'm using that today. Um, I'm using my hands a lot this right now, so it's not like a bad thing, but it's not my favorite. I rather just um, change my nails each week. So, so let's get started with the um, stamping today. So we're just gonna take and um, select a snowflake. I'm just going to go the first one, second one, just keep going. There's a nice snowflake. Pick it up. And then I am just going to stamp that on my nail. And there we go. And then clean off my lint roller. I need to clean off my plate and move on to the next flake. Really that is all there is to this one. It's a nice Simple design takes a little time because you have to do each snowflake individually, but when you're done, there will be no two snowflakes alike. I'm not sure if I'm showing that on camera. You're a little bit closer today than you were in the past. I have uh, changed this a little bit because I was using the camera mount for something else. And it didn't work either. I ended up having to uh, mount it a different way. but Let's just make sure that I got one on camera this time. I got a little bit 
of a snowman's teeth on that one. So we can fix that though. There, you can't even tell now. Let's keep going. Now while I'm doing this, I do have an announcement for my little followers. Um, I have decided that because of all the things going on with YouTube um, starting January 1st, and because I don't really have that many followers, um, I've decided that my last YouTube video on this platform will be the last, will be the December 25th one, the Christmas Day nail art design. Um, I've been at this for, I think, three or four years now. And I don't have very many followers. I do appreciate the followers I do have. Um, but I don't really get more than two views on most of my um, nail arts per week. And my biggest one was like 150. And that was for a um, solar eclipse nail art, which I can't believe that nobody else had done. Um, because I went, I, I do some research on my nails before I do them sometimes and I went to see if anybody else had an idea of a solar eclipse and nobody did so that's probably the reason why I got all the views um, but with the new rules and regulations out and the fact that I don't really have many followers anyways I have decided um, that the Christmas Day nail art will be my last video on YouTube um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing nail art. Um, I have a lot more followers on Instagram than I do on uh, face or on YouTube. So um, I will be moving to Instagram. Um, I'm probably not going to do videos on Instagram just because when I've been doing these videos, they do take a while, and. Uh, I do have other things in my life going on. So um, you'll get to see the final results on Instagram each week still. Um, so just uh, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is L's Nails, and it's actually, I guess there's more than one L's Nails out there. It's, it's L's Nails 18. It's E L L E S N A I L. 18. So um, that's the announcement I have for today. But we still have a couple more weeks left of nail art designs to do. So uh, continue to watch me. Um, next week's theme is Santa Claus. So I'll be back with another look next week once I'm done with this one. Look at that, a two for one. Got a snowflake on the top too. One more and then we're done. Actually, I think I'm gonna complete that snowflake right there. Level it out. There we go. All right, so to finish this off, um, we are actually going to use regular quick dry top coat, not gel polish, to um, finish this off and seal in my design. 
I am still using my Out the Door. It's a mixture of old and new Out the Door. It makes it um, just the right thickness, not too thick, not too thin, um, so that my polish does not smear. It's not all top coats are created equal when it comes to doing stamping. But this one is pretty good. And unfortunately, and the big bottle that I have right here, oh, there's a fluff on here. Um, in the big bottle, they stopped selling it at Sally's, so I had to order it online. Um, but you can get the uh, normal size bottle at most grocery stores do have it. Um, so it is available. And my cat has decided that now is the time to discover the paper bags. Alright, so that's it for this week. Um, I'm going to clean up around the edges, of course. Um, but next week's theme will be Santa Claus. So stop on by next week. We only have three more videos left. Um, so that's it for this week, and we'll see you next time.